Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Clockify with uh, Google Calendar. First thing we have to do, we have to create ourselves an account at clockify.me uh, if you don't have one already. And as you can see we are at our workspace. So let's shift to the left side of our screen and there as you can see there's a couple of options like reports, dashboard, and so on. But we are interested in settings. Uh, we click on settings. And once we are here, we want to go to integrations and click on the integrations. As you can see, uh, the only free uh, integration that Clockify provides for us is with Jira. The other integrations, uh, well, you have to upgrade your account to get uh, access to other integrations. You have to go with uh, at least a standard account. Uh, but we can use Zapier.com for this integration to happen. Uh, so once we create account here as well at Zapier.com, let's go to the top left corner. And as you can see, click on the make a Zap. Also at top left corner, you can uh, name your Zap. The Zap stands for integration, obviously, like Clockify to Calendar for uh, if you want to get back to this integration in the future, so it's easier to find it. And now back to creating the integration. You have to start with the first step, and the first step is trigger. Uh, the trigger we will start with Clockify, so we choose Clockify. Trigger event. You have to pick from one of those uh, events. Uh, so let's go with a new project, for example. Continue. Now we have to log in to the account that we created at uh, Clockify. Once you uh, will try to actually log in to Clockify account at Zapier, you will get asked to use API key. So you will find the API key in uh, your Clockify top right corner, go to profile settings and scroll all the way down and you have to just to copy paste this link, this long one. You hit continue. Uh, we have to pick a workspace. I have only one at my free account. So let's go with the only one, continue. And now we can test the trigger. On the second action, as you probably guessed, we go with Google Calendar. We also need to pick an event. Let's stick with the first one. This will actually, the new project in Clockafile will, for example, delete event in Google Calendar, for example, like that's how it works. Continue, and the last thing is, you have to sign into Google Calendar and you are basically done. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.